St. Luke chapter 12, verse 51. Suppose ye that I come to give peace on earth. I tell you nay, but rather division. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Thanks, double honors to the head apostles, slash elder bishops, great millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. My God, some people here for a bear. Now, the Lord just said He's coming to bring division. All right? The, the Lord is not coming to bring everybody together. You know, the caravan of love. This is not happening. See, that's one thing you Israelites, you don't read. Blessed is he that reads. The Lord said, what, I got to read that again. And we're going to bring out that definition. St. Luke chapter 12, verse 51. And it reads, and look, this red letter. Lord Yahweh Shai, who they even call Jesus, right? Suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth. Because a whole lot of people are saying when the Lord come back, he's coming to bring peace. Love, tranquility, hugs. You know, good times, you know. The Lord said, I tell you nay, but rather division. Let's look up that definition for the word division. You, you don't see a division happening right about now. The Lord, the Lord is stirring things up. The Lord is mixing things up. The Lord is dividing people. You know, let's get that definition. The, the, look, division. It's a noun. The action of the action of separating something into parts. You see? Or the process of being separated the Lord is separating the good from the evil the righteous from the ungodly man a separation is going on on the face of the earth right about now you, you don't even see it you don't even see it the Lord is separating families you know households so-called loved ones it's always been it's always been a right and a left man it's always been a up and a down. It's always been a hot and a cold. But you can't perceive that. You can't even perceive what's going on. Look, dividing. Little breakup. Splitting. Um, um, dissecting. Separation. The disagreement between two or more groups. Is that not happening right about now? You know. You have people disagreeing, and you got people agreeing. That's separation right there. You have one person going to the right, and you got 10 people going to the left. That, that's separation for you. That's what the Lord said he's bringing, man, All right? No unity whatsoever, Di no disagreement, discord, detachment, difference, variance. Variance, right? That's what the Lord is bringing. We go, look, we're going to read on, though. St. Luke chapter 12. Because, look, look, look this, is, this is not a thing about go along to get along. No. How can two walk together unless they agree? If I don't agree with what you do, I'm not going to be with you. All right? I'm not going to be around you. What part of that don't you get? You see? I gotta, look, I got to jump down. St. Luke. Chapter 12. Now I'm going to just read on. 52. For from, for from henceforth there shall be five in one house. Divided. Three against two. And two against three, man. Do, do you not get that? There's, there's going to be disagreements within the house. And you see that happening now over, over Vanessa Williams. Over Maxine Waters, you got a division going on in the house. The, look, the house is not agreeing. You know, one person believes in this, one person believes in that. So eventually, those people, if they don't come to a common ground, a common agreement, look, they're going to separate, right? Somebody's going to go their way and the other person's going to go the other way, right? Let's read on. The father shall be divided against the son. And the son against the father. You believe in something. I believe in something totally different. That's the vision right there, right? It says, and the son against the father. And the mother against the daughter. And the daughter against the mother. And the mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law. 
and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, man. You see? You see, you see how much division it was? You know, th that's what's happening on the face of the earth. The Lord is causing a division. A division is happening. I want to get that priest up the same, pretty much saying the same thing in St. Matthew. Let's get that. Pretty much saying the same thing in the book of Matthew. Let's see if we can get that right quick. Bear with me. Matthew chapter 10, verse 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. So the Lord is coming to bring destruction. Okay? Destruction. It says, um, for I am come to set a man at variance against his father. Now let's get that word variance. Now we just read in um St. Luke. He's coming to divide. He's coming to bring a division, you know, a separation. We'll get the word, the definition for the word variance. Variance. The fact or quality of being different. You see? Difference. He says he's going to set a difference between his son and his father. Disagreement, conflict, and it's going to cause a conflict. When you don't agree with somebody, it usually starts a conflict. You see? Pretty much opposing forces, right? You know, at odds. A man is going to be at odds with his daddy, right? You know? Let's see. In opposition. Clashing. Disagreeing. You know? Contrary. The state or fact of disagreeing or quarreling. You know? Pretty much they're going to they're get to fighting. Especially if they don't get away from each other, it always leads to a fight. When you disagree with someone, or they don't agree with what you got to say, usually you just got to just go in and just get the hell away from that person, just split up. Because eventually it's going to start a conflict. Squalling, quarreling, which means you go into that word quarreling, pretty much fighting, right? Arguing. But oh yeah, you said peace is coming. Get along to get along. No. You can't get along with a person, you, or you can't hang with a person that you don't agree with, right? Enemies shall become, friends shall become enemies. We're going to get that, Lord willing. 35. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father, and the daughter against her mother, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and a man's foes, his enemies, shall be they of his own household, man. You see? Your own family members. It's, it's, see, we're coming down to the wire to where your own family members are going to turn your ass in if you don't agree with what they agree with. If you don't get down what they get down, that's why it's, it's best to just have your own spot. It, look, you, you'd be better off just having your own spot, man. You see? Because living with family members right about now, man, it's not going to go well. But look, your family members is going over there hollering at Maxine Waters, you know, Lucretia, Felicia, whatever name you call them. You know, Vanessa Williams, your family over there hollering, chilling, sitting down, holding hands, smiling like I don't know what. And what are you doing? You following after Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, right? Look, look, good set against evil, right? Amos chapter 3, verse 3. Can two walk together except they be agreed? You're not going to hang with somebody that you don't agree with. That don't make sense, Israel. You're going to hang around somebody that's speaking the same thing that you're speaking, that's believing in the same thing that you believe in. You see? If you don't rob banks, you're not going to go hang with a bunch of bank robbers. If you don't gang bang, you're not going to go hang with, with a bunch of gang bangers. If you don't do drugs, you're not going to go hang with a bunch of drug dealers and smoke weed and do dope. Because you don't agree with that, man. So how can two walk together unless they be agreed, man? And that's what the Lord is doing. He's bringing a separation, a division. You, you can see it plain. You can see it plain. The Lord made it plain upon tables. You can see it just plain. The household pretty much out of order right about now, man. Let's get this. This is why. Sirach chapter 33. Sirach chapter 33. Verse 14, look, look, good is set against evil. You see, the majority of the people on the earth, they're going to follow after evil. They're going to follow after wickedness. And you're following after Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, which is that good. You're following after the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, which is the words of the Bible, which is that good. 
of course, it's going to be a division. You know, of course, it's going to be a separating of things. You following out the Lord, you following out the righteousness. The scriptures tell us what? Seek righteousness, seek meekness. You shall be hid in the day of the Lord's wrath. Because that's exactly what's coming, the wrath of the Lord. But you got our people conforming to the ways of this world, which is set upon pure wickedness, witchcraft, evil. But they love to have it so, right? So Rock chapter 33, verse 14, good is set against evil and life against death. So is the godly against the sinner. You try to follow Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, and the majority of our people, look, is following the spiritual demon Satan and his physical counterpart, Sleazy E. So you got the, look, look, you got the good against the, look, what, what does it say again? So, so is the godly against the sinner and the sinner against the godly. So look upon all the works of the Most High because the Lord created all these things, right? And there are two and two, one against another. Two and two, one against another, man. You see? That's what's going on right about now. And the scripture says, evil men shall wax worse and worse. Deceiving and being deceived, man. You got to be careful nowadays, man. These people out here are wicked. And they're, and look, and they're willing to do anything to have a roof over their head. It, it, even if it means selling their soul. Even if, if it, even if it means selling you out. Remember, remember that. These people are trying to have a roof over their head. These people want to live comfortable. And, and, and look, in hell. So they're willing to do anything. Even if it means putting your life in danger. To get what they got to get. They, look, they're going to do it, man. Let's get this. 2 Corinthians. Chapter 6, verse 14. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Don't be hanging around these unbelievers. You go to work, you get your daily bread, then you come home and you stay out of, you stay out of harm's way. Don't be out there hanging with two-thirds and these different heathens. They don't agree with what you agree with. You know, you're going to end up finding yourself in a predicament you can't get yourself out of. Leave these wicked people of the earth alone. Get away from them. Only time you need to be around two thirds of these heathens, really, you know what I'm saying, is if you're at work or you're out and about, you know what I'm saying, at the grocery store or what have you. But as far as in sitting down, breaking bread, cookouts, and, and all this other nonsense, don't be with two thirds. Don't be with these heathens, man. You, you know what they're pushing. You know what the Lord is pushing, right? Once again, 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. They don't believe in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh they don't believe in waiting on the Lord. They don't believe in having faith, trust in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh They just going to stick it out. They just going to do whatever, you know what I'm saying, Sleazy E says, man. And they're going to try to talk you into it too. They're going to try to, that, that's when that peer pressure going to come in. That's why we need to be grounded and rooted, man. It says, for what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? Well, look, why are you hanging with the wicked at the work? You know, why are you, why are you with them? What fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? Or what communion have light with darkness? Or what concord have Hamashiach with Baal? Or what part have he that believeth with an infidel? You got the faith, you no know saying, but you're hanging with somebody that ain't got no faith. Somebody that don't believe in the Bible, period. You hang with a bunch of atheists. That don't, that don't even look right. Or what agreement have the temple of the Most High with idols, man? For ye are the temple of the living power. As Yahweh have said, I will dwell in them and walk in them. And I will be their power and they shall be my people. And that's talking about the elect of the nation of Israel on this side, man. You know. Two thirds, man. Two thirds ain't thinking about the Lord, man. I mean, it, it, Israel, you should, you should know that by now. You should know that by now. The Lord is making a separation, man, a division. The Lord is dividing things up right about now. The Lord is stirring up the pot. This is Malachi chapter three, verse sixteen. Then they that fear the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shalom. These people don't fear the Lord. 
Why are you hanging with someone? See, judgment is going to come upon these people. You don't want to be in the mix of these people when judgment, when wrath come upon these people. You don't want to be in the mix of them. And they that fear the Lord spake often one to another. And the Lord hearkened, meaning he heard it, and heard it. And a book of remembrance was written before him. For them that fear the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and thought upon his name. These people don't think in the, think upon the name of the Lord. These people don't even believe in the Lord, period. And we're talking about our people, two thirds of our people, they don't believe. They're not thinking upon the name of the Lord. They're not calling on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh for help. See, in these troubling times, we see this devil coming down with great wrath. They're telling you to go along to get along, man. You see? Look, look, and they shall be mine. Say the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies. In that day when I make up my jewels, and I will spare them as a man spareth his own son that serveth him. Then shall ye return and discern. Look, look, and then they shall return back and, and look and discern, man. Our people don't have the spirit of discernment, man. You see, they, can, they can't discern, man. You see? They can't make a right decision. And pretty much in a um, to make a um, in a nutshell, you look at that word discern, it means to see pretty much. You see? Pretty much our people don't see. They can't look, they can tell when it's gonna rain, they can tell when the sun's gonna come out, but as far as they knowing what time we're living in, they can't discern, they can't see. Because the Lord has given them the spirit of slumber. Eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear until this day, man. But the service of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, what did it say? Malachi chapter 3, verse 18. Then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, because the Lord has given you the spirit of discernment to see who serves the Lord and who's not serving the Lord, who's serving the devil, the deceiver, sleazy eat, and who's serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We haven't been given the spirit of discernment, man. You see? This shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth the Most High and him that serveth him not, man. So if you're serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and you're living with somebody that's not serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that's where the division is going to come in. That's when the division is going to come in, man. All right? Look, the Lord said, you know what I'm saying? This, this is all part of the curse. The Lord said, your eye, you know what I'm saying? Your, your eye going to be evil towards your brother. You serving Yahweh by Shemi Shai, the whole world's going to come against you, man. Most definitely, your brothers, it, look, within the household, and, and you got um, so called Israelite brothers looking at you sideways. Let's see if we can get that in Deuteronomy. Let's see if we can get that in Deuteronomy. Let's see. Yeah, Deuteronomy 28 54. So in this part of the curses right here, right? So that in so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, because remember we used to show love to each other. We used to show brotherly love. The men of Israel used to straight up show brotherly love to each other, right? But now listen, Deuteronomy 28, 54. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eye shall be evil towards his brother, man. You see? That, that's the vision right about now. But look, and toward the wife of his bosom, and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. Look, the vision, that's part of the curses, man. It's going to be infighting. You know, people going to be tearing these households up. People, look, people actually, you got, you got parents telling their children, you know what I'm saying, to get, to get, get the hell out of the house. Because they don't want to know saying, go holler at Vanessa Williams. Telling them, hey, you can't be in my house. Let's get this, 2nd Ezra, chapter 6, verse 24, and it reads, At that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies. That's what you see going on right about now. You know, you, you losing friendships over this thing that's going on right about now. You, look, you don't agree with it, they agree with it. Now, now you see what time it is now. That's why it's all about the brotherhood. That's why it's all about the elect of the nation of Israel, man. You can see it just as clear as day, man. Once again, 2nd Ezra chapter 6, verse 24. Let's see. Yep. And at that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies. And the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. And springs of the fountains shall stand still. 
and in three hours they shall not run. But the point of that scripture is what? All hell breaking loose. And then you got friends becoming enemies now. You know. The, that's, that's, the Lord, uh, that's the first scripture I brought out. The Lord said he came to bring division. All right? Part of the family is going to agree. And part of the family is going to disagree. Still in 2nd Ezra. 2nd Ezra chapter 5. And 9. And salt water shall be found in the sweet. And all friends shall destroy one another. It's getting ready to get that bad out here. These people are going to be fighting over food and everything, man. Fighting over resources. Just get, look, man. It's going to be a great insurrection, man. Okay? All hell break loose and resources are going to be um, minimal. You know? This is, and salt water shall be found in the street. And all friends shall destroy one another. Then she, look, look, then shall wit hide itself, and understanding withdraw itself into the secret chambers, man. Cause look, when these people ain't got no answers, they they gonna lose it, man. People they they ignoring the words of Yahweh about Shimei and Shai right about now. See, we out there on the highways and byways to give our people the answers to any question they have. But soon come the Lord's gonna take His men off the streets. That's the time that we coming in. You see. The love of many is why I let's get that right quick. It's going to get it right quick. St. Matthew. St. Matthew, the 24th chapter. And then look, the Lord wouldn't have said the elect is being, being edified through this lesson, man. St. Matthew, chapter 24. Let's see. I started on... Um, I started nine, St. Matthew 24, nine. And then shall they deliver you to be afflicted and shall kill you. Why? Because you don't agree. You don't agree with what's going on. So they're going to turn you in. You believe in Yahweh by Shimei and they believe in Sleazy E. They believe in the beast. So they're going to turn you in, right? You're going to be afflicted and they shall kill you. And you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Because remember, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they persecuted the Lord for not getting down with the get down, they sure enough going to persecute you. See, we're coming with a different doctrine. We're coming with true words. You see? And these people are coming with lies, man. These people are going to be trying to kill each other over the lack of bread so will come. You see? Read it down. St. Matthew 24. I'm going to just jump. St. Matthew chapter 24. Verse 12. And because iniquity, sin upon sin, wickedness shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Are you seeing that now, man? Jacob against Esau. Friends against friends. So friends going to be um, trying to get at each other. Said so friends going to um, basically kill each other, man. That's what the scripture said. The scripture said best friends are going to start killing each other. Your neighbor going to try to come up against you and take your head off, man. Your neighbor will try to take your head off so come. And that's thus said the Lord, thus said the Bible. So pretty much just a lesson. Um, look, well circumspect. Not as fools. My friend, I, I ended off on that. I ended off on that. I mean, I could bring out more scriptures, but I think this is a good time to end the lesson. This is Ephesians chapter 5, verse 15. Verse 15. See then that you walk circumspectly. So it's look, look, be looking around. Pay attention to what's going on, Israel. Pay attention to what the hell is going on. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Use wisdom. Use discernment, okay? Don't be walk around like a bunch of fools not knowing what's going on. Redeeming the time. Because the days are evil. We're not living in some some um, peaceful times. We're living in some evil times. Some bad times, man. And the Lord said, look, I, I shouldn't have to write unto you what time it is. You should already know. The Lord is setting a vision, man. Remember? The Lord is dividing households. Shalom.